Hi, welcome to Eagle Root Science. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a control bottle rocket for our launch uh, coming up. Uh, the importance of making the rocket, just like I make it here, is that in our experiment, we need to have a control. And we're trying to make the every rocket the same, uh, other than you'll be changing one variable. And you'll be able to test how that variable affects the rocket's flight. So to get started, let's talk about what kind of supplies you're going to need. I start off with two two liter uh, pot bottles uh, with the lids. You'll see why we need the lids in just a little while. Uh, cleaned up and hopefully dry. Roll of duct tape. We'll need a template for the fins. And I've provided that for you. A long strip of paper. You'll see what that's for in a little while. A plastic folder. A ruler. Metric. A sharpie. 200 grams of clay, scissors, some clear tape, and a calculator. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is talk about the bottles themselves. Uh, we'll take off the label from the bottle, and the next thing I'd like you to do is remove the ring. Uh, this ring can get in the way during launch, so we're just going to take our heavy duty scissors and get underneath the ring. Need help with this? Please ask. Don't need you poking yourself with the scissors. There we go. Okay. Next, uh, you need two bottles. One of them never poke a hole in. That's going to be your air chamber. That's going to be where we pressurize. You're going to put water in there, and then your rocket's going to launch from there. So don't pressurize one of them. The other one, or don't cut one of them. The other one you, you're going to cut because you're going to make a. Uh, a nose cone out of it. So let's start with the nose cone. I'm sorry, let's start with the fins. The fins are going to require a template, which is a pattern. And you've got that provided for you. What I've done is I've cut out the template. I'm going to use that to trace onto the plastic folder. And because that's all I'll be making the fin material out of. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the plastic folder. I'm going to find an edge because it's going to work well. Uh, near an end, I don't have to cut as much maybe. And I have a little piece of tape on there. I'm just going to go ahead and tape it down. I don't want to waste the plastic folder because I know other people are going to need it. I'm going to go ahead and tape that down. Okay. Once I have that, I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'll trace the pattern out. I'm going to do this three times. You're going to need three fins for this first rocket. I'm just following along the outside of the pattern. Okay. When I remove it, I'll have the blank. I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. Now this doesn't look much like a fin yet. I'm going to show you how to fold it. First thing I want you to do is fold it in half. It's just going to take a little bit of effort. It's hard plastic. In fact, I will use the edge of my scissors to crease it. Then the squared off areas, I'm going to go ahead and fold those outward. I'll do both of them at the same time. This one, that one. I can then lay it on top, use my scissors again something heavy, a ruler, and crease it. Now, this is what your fin will look like. This is going to attach to the side of your bottle. Go ahead and this one for now. Uh, it's going to be at a certain distance. 
Remember, this is the nozzle of your rocket. This is the rocket's going to move this direction. We're going to put the fins 10 centimeters. I want the base of the fins 10 centimeters from the end. How do you do that? Lay your bottle down or set it down on the end. If it's wet, it's going to get water. So make sure you have some paper towels. Use your metric ruler and measure 10 centimeters. And then make, you can get some help with this, but make a few lines around. You can see I've already done that. 10 centimeters. That'll be the base of your fins. Got that. Now, where do you place the fins? We're going to use this strip of paper next. This strip of paper we're going to use, we're going to wrap it around the bottle at that 10 centimeter distance. I'm going to use a little piece of tape. Go ahead and attach it one side to make it easier. I'm wrapping it around the bottle. What does that do for me? It's going to do a couple of things. Now I can measure the distance around. I'm going to go ahead and make a mark where the paper meets. That will be the circumference of the bottle. Okay. When I unwrap it, I know the distance around the bottle is this length. I'm going to go ahead and measure that. Using my metric ruler in centimeters, I see that it's longer than 30 centimeters. Your metric ruler is going to be a little bit more than 30 centimeters. I'm just going to make a little mark there so I know where to place my ruler. And I'm going to add to that 30 centimeters 4.5 centimeters approximately. 4.5. So 30 plus 4.5, I'm just going to write on the end here, is 34.5 centimeters. Now I have three fins. I made two earlier. One, two, three. If I want to place those equidistant around the rocket, I'm going to divide 34.5 centimeters by three. I can do that on my calculator. Thirty-four point five divided by three equals eleven point five centimeters. So that means that I will tape using duct tape a fin centered at eleven point five centimeters every eleven point five centimeters around. So I'm going to start at this end and measure on my paper eleven point five centimeters. Make a line. I'm actually going to make a line a pretty long on here. I'll just move the ruler over. It makes it easy. Eleven point five centimeters. I'll make another line. Then hopefully if I did this right, the last line should be pretty much on the dot, 11.5 centimeters. So when I'm done, I will wrap this. I'm actually going to switch the bottle because I have that one marked already. I'm going to wrap this back around the bottle at 11.5 centimeters. Okay. I'll be placing the Fins. Now you can see I have a line everywhere I'm going to place a fin. I'm going to transfer that line onto the bottom. Just extend it a little bit. I also have a line where I want the bottom of the fin to go. Okay. So when I take this off, you can see now that I have a spot. To put my fins. All right, attaching the fins. Let me use some duct tape. Don't need much. In fact, duct tape. We're going to take a small piece. I'm going to try tearing it lengthwise. Okay, that'll give me enough for one fin. I'm going to take the fin. Now remember, the rock is going to travel this direction. I'm going to place the fin. I'm going to center it on that. 11.5 centimeter increment mark and the bottom of it on the bottom mark. Okay, might take some help from a friend, your partner. I'm going to put some tape on this part that's bent out and put tape on the other. I'm going to squeeze them together to make it even. I'm going to sit that in the correct place on the rock. Centered, tape it down. One more thing I want to do. 
Let's take one more strip of tape. Small as well. Okay. And if you look close, you can see where the fin is open. I'm sorry, on this side. Now that's going to catch some air. So what I'd like to do is actually put some tape over that. Try to close that up just a little bit. That'll help the aerodynamics of this fin. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the other two fins on. I'm going to tear off some tape again. Just set those here for now. That should be enough. Tape over there. I'll need the tape again in a little while. Okay, find my next mark. I'll take the tape, put it on the edge of the fin, another piece of tape on the edge of the fin. Squeeze it together. Look at the orientation, how it's going. Center it on the mark. And on the distance. It's still a little bit there. We go. It's a little tricky at times, sorry. You also want to make sure that these are straight. Hopefully your line is straight. Vertical, I mean, so when they launch, it doesn't twist everywhere. And the last one. Tape on. Okay. Okay. Last thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of tape on the top. I can actually tear this in half. It doesn't need much, just to kind of hold those two pieces together. It should help. All right, so there are the fins, 10 centimeters of the, the base is from the bottom. Uh, this part's done, we're not gonna poke into this. This is gonna be pressurized to 90 pounds for our launch. So that part's done, we're gonna set it aside. Next, we need a nose cone. Okay, and so we're, we're gonna use this bottle for the nose cone, we gotta cut it apart. Actually, just gonna use the top little bit of it. The nose cone's important uh, aerodynamics, but we're also going to put some weight in there because we want our rocket weighted in the front. We want the center of gravity forward. We want the center of gravity up here. So when it shoots, it will shoot in a straight direction. So to do that, uh, cutting a bottle, use some heavy duty scissors. What I like to do is, I've already marked it. This is 10 centimeters also. Okay. I just made a, some lines 10 centimeters that I can follow. I'm going to pinch it this. That way I can hopefully cut into it a little bit. All right. Once I get cut once, now I can run my scissors around. I'm trying to make it 10 centimeters to make sure every rock hits the same. These are sharp ends, so do be careful. This I can just set aside and get rid of it. This is our nose cone. This is going to attach to the top, and inside of that is where I'm going to put my weight. So how much weight? Well, we've decided on 200 grams of clay. Here's the clay. I use the electronic scale to measure up 200 grams. I'm going to press this. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid, the cap back on this bottle. And now, adding the weight, we're going to press it firmly into the front of the rocket. And we're going to attach the nose cone. Okay, attaching the nose cone is very simple. Uh, we've got it. We're just going to put the tape around it. Get a piece of duct tape. How long? Well, it's going to be about 34 and a half centimeters. Remember, so I'm going to just eyeball it with my ruler. So 30 centimeters is a little longer than 30. It's going to be about this long. I'm going to overlap a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead. And just wrap this one time around. And that should be 
good enough to hold on to my nose cone. Okay, here's your rocket. Okay, we're gonna launch these uh, in a few days. So make sure you finish yours. The thing is, you are now going to make the rocket exactly like this one, except you're gonna change one thing. Now, some variables might be the amount of weight in the nose cone. Maybe you want to decrease it. Maybe you want to increase the amount. The amount of, uh, or the number of fins. You could change it to two or four fins. You could change the shape of the fins, the location of the fins. Uh, we're going to fill this up with a certain amount of water. Uh, so on launch day, if you choose to make your rocket exactly like this, maybe you want to change the amount of water that you put in. See what effect that has on the distance. As well as uh, we can talk about changing the amount of pressure. Uh, we're going to launch these with 90 pounds of pressure. 90 pounds of PSI. I will launch this one first to determine the distance of the control, and then we will launch yours to see what effect changing one variable had on the distance that your rocket travels. When we're all done, you're going to make one more rocket, and you get to make it any way you want in order to get it to go the farthest using the data we collect from all the groups in class. Okay, hopefully this video taught you how to make a, the control rocket today. And this will be available for you to rewind and take a look at on the Chromebooks or on your computers as you work.